Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Hip Kit Club inspiration with our gorgeous January main and embellishment kits today. And this gorgeous mood board, which I actually designed, I'm kind of excited by it because it's all my favorite things, florals, painting, hearts, um, happy house day, and that gumball machine, which is where I'm taking inspiration from today. And I've just drawn up a very crude template because they're there isn't a gumball cut file yet. I have asked Kim, let's wait and see, but fingers crossed, I'm hoping we can get one. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you how simple it is to quickly make your own template and create your own cut file effect without having a machine. So just some simple fussy cutting. So I have fussy cut out on some, um, just some plain white cardstock there. And then I've still got, um, Sorry, I'm moving forward here. I'm going, jumping straight into pattern paper. I think I really love this pattern paper because of the diagonal stripe. And on the original image, there was a red and white diagonal stripe. But I actually don't end up using it. So just ignore that. But this paper here, Highlight, this is one I definitely do use. And it's from the Pink Fresh Super Cool Collection. And you can see I've just gone and trimmed everything out. And yeah, you get the impact already and it's not even, nothing's even done yet. And I liked the idea of, um, you know, for the twisty part where you twist and you get the gumball to fall out in the machine. I can't think of the word for that right now, but I'm going to use one of the Pink Press Studio bows for that part. So um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I, I feel like um, if it had a cut file, there would have been sections where, you know, you would have seen those... Um, lines that sort of indicated um, where the shadow was so you knew it was a three-dimensional shape. Rather than come in and add some white cardstock to do that, I'm actually piercing, um, well you saw me draw in pencil first and then pierced it with my reamer there and um, I'm actually going to stitch them. So just going along now, hand stitching, I don't knot the end of my pages, um, pieces just because I'm not sure what I'm going to mount them to. So I just tape them very carefully because I don't want to cover any of those, yeah, any of the holes I've just popped in there because it will make it very tricky to um, stitch. So just going along and stitching those details. So there you go. You can see what I was meaning about having that little bit of shadow line just to enhance the look. And once it was on there, I realized it doesn't have the cut file look to it still. And what it needed was a little bit of white trim. So you know how the cut files always have that lovely white edging? I've just gone and edged my pieces by mounting them onto white cardstock. So really simple. Um, I have used some vellum from my stash. So I have cut a piece of vellum there, clear vellum, because I want to create the illusion of that actually being glass. So I'm going to fill the gumball with actual gumballs. <laughs> but of course, they are those fantastic um, chipboard stickers from the my story this yeah the my story collection from pink fresh studio and i'm just going to pop them all on and you can see i've got my photo in place there and i'm using things to guide me because i don't want to overfill it and waste those fantastic embellishments and have them disappear on me but yeah look look at that you get the impression already and i liked that i know it needs those fantastic chipboard stickers but it, in doing so it really does add to that glassine effect and again that realism so I really loved how that was looking, but again, I wanted that shadow line. So you can see my, I've got my white uh, my white and yellow um, thread to the side there. And I, yeah, I go in and add a little more stitching so you get that 3D shape on the um, glass ball section. And now I'm thinking about what to do in the middle to create um, the dispenser part, if you will. And I've gone and cut... Um, my cardstock there and again going to mount it and have it trimmed in flush with the white cardstock so again we get that really cool look I think I just went a bit wonky there I was just tidying that up <laughs> I was trying to be really quick I was it was almost school pickup time and I was finishing this off so I had to hurry um but if I'm mounting this one and on with another chipboard sticker or two, I like them for the dispenser parts, you know, for the little knobs that you would twist or press or no, that's the circle parts where you put your coin in, isn't it? So, sorry, very unpracticed with sweets in my house. <laughs> but you get the idea now. And as you can see, while I was looking at my plan, I just 
The grey stripes was pretty because it reflected the mood board, but this paper just called out to me so bad. It's just so pretty, that constellation background. And I think because the photograph I'm using today is of my son, and it's very silly and fun and whimsical, and it just tied in with that idea of um, being fun and whimsical and dreaming big and playful. And yeah, and the photo, I don't know if you can see that very clearly yet, but it's actually him kissing a seal. And um, the reason I've done the gumball is because when, where we are in the photograph is actually a little seaside village where they have all these lovely fair type um, things happening. Um, but we always go and play mini golf as a family. And if you lose, it, the gumball drop part is, of course, that you have to go and kiss the seal. It's not actually a real seal. It looks real in the photograph because it's black and white, but it's actually a really fun statue. And um, yeah, you have to kiss the seal if you lose. And it was really funny. And so I've picked up on that as well in that um, sentiment that I'm banner that I'm running across at the top that says, you know, life's always better if you're laughing. Um, I've trimmed the top of the gumball with that favourite hexagon. I like that. Just looking at the dispenser part now though as well. Um, you can see it's really getting the look straight away, but I, it just needs something more. And I, I do sort of, yeah, I decide I want to have the hearts coming out of it like the original image that I'm working with. And... I can't get any in the size I need. The, the ones that are on the puffy stickers are a little bit too small and I want to save them for on my gumball, as you can see now. So I fussy cut these other two just from some scraps from my pattern paper there um, in the kit. And oh, I like that better already. So the hearts you can see very clearly and I think that's nice because um, you know in the original um, the mood board image there's lots of hearts in the gumball machine. So yeah, I just wanted to add to that. And I'm folding these ones so they sort of have a bit more dimension and texture and they look really cute and fun. And on goes that banner there. And oh, all the embellishments and all the things. It's always my favourite part, isn't it? And you can see me just sort of trying different ideas. And I had so many things I could have said and done with this layout. And I did like that one. It says sweet. And I, I think that was important because it was a sweet moment. And of course, gumballs are sweet and bubblegum's sweet and... Um, there was lots of fun with that and then I felt it just needed something a bit more and of course there are lots of florals in the mood board and if I picked up on the yellow and the green a bit more I felt like it balanced the page just a little so yeah using florals to balance out and then of course a few little extra die cuts to decorate my gumball machine and foam mounting all that now just needed that extra oomph hold it in place there we go. And the little bunting beneath his photograph on the frame there says loving this. So it was one of those loving this moments. It was so funny. You should have heard what he said when he was kissing the seal. It was really hilarious. So he is a very big character. I think everybody at mini golf saw him kiss the seal. We actually meant just sit by it and have a photo, but he actually kissed the seal. So my title today is a seal it with a kiss. And I'm using the other um, pink fresh the super cool thickers um, alphabet sticker sorry um, for the XOs as well so just adding in those little kiss kiss details so it's a valentine's kind of theme page perhaps maybe I don't know if he should really go kissing seals but um, yeah look a really fun one for his album just a fun happy moment there's a beautiful letter going on the back to him about that day and what happened and how funny it all was and some memorabilia on the back in my letter and yeah look that's pretty much my layout just the finishing touch parts now and oh there we go seal it with a kiss finish with a heart beautiful if you've got questions or comments about my layout today please don't hesitate to pop them down below love to see your take on the mood board this month let me know if you enjoy it um yeah thanks so much for watching liking subscribing and all that jazz and have yourself a wonderful happy arty days bye